Hello, not spoken to everyone for a wee while. I thought I would answer some questions about my teacher trainings. I've had um, a lot of questions and I thought maybe I should just answer some and then, but if you still have more questions, give me a shout, it's all good. So online teacher training, who would have thought? Um, it's taken me a wee while to really get my head around it. Um, it took a lot to think, am I gonna sell my soul here by doing this? Because I'm really passionate about what I do. Um, and how can you, How I was wondering how on earth can I um, share and really, because I work with energy, how could I do this online? Is, that's, is that yoga? So to, I had to really step back and step out my own way. And I realized that the yoga that we practice in the West, from what I've studied and I studied the history of yoga, right, I'm, I'm a complete uh, nerd constantly learning. Um, the yoga that we practice in the West um, was never something that was um, practiced by the ancient sages or the rishis of their day. Um, we've adapted in the West and what we're teaching and, and practicing are basically um, variations of Swedish gym, like, um, gymnastics or, um, and Indian bodybuilding. Yeah, so we've adapted it to fit in with our lifestyles. And this online malarkey is not going away. This is part of the new norm. Um, hopefully we will get to integrate and, and work with humans, but online yoga is never going to go away. Um, I've also got my head around it because I was halfway through running a teacher training when, I, um, when COVID hit. And it was really difficult for my, my trainees and for myself to adapt, but we really went through this together and we applied the, the scriptures. We, we really embodied what we've been, what we've been, what we've been studying. We used this challenge as an opportunity for growth. Um, and we, we worked through the kleshas. Um, so aversion, aversion to online yoga, um, attachment to real life yoga. Um, and we really stepped out of our own way, sat in the eye of the storm and decided how we're gonna act. Um, so my, my 200 hour has been adapted um, to be, so that my students will be able to get to where they need to be. We've kept the communication levels open and they've told me what they need, what they want, and, and I know how I need to get them there. So I've adjusted my course accordingly, um, but they're still getting the same you know the same modules except for perhaps not the we're not doing adjusting and things like that but something that the good thing that's come out of online is we have to be more clear with our um communication it's about clarity of speech and being able to articulate um our practices and be really be able to how do you really share your yoga if you're not in the room with them um so ways of doing that so I've opened up my all my trainings, but I've also I was just about to release information on my new 300 hour. And because my 200 hour teacher trainings are very much about um, allowing my students to find their own authentic teaching styles. So I'm not churning out generic yogis that I'm not going to. I don't want anyone to be a version of me. They should be a, a great version of themselves. So I accept students from different lineages, but we work very hard and expect them to have a, a daily practice. They work with me, but I, I um, respect their teachers and we work together. So every group has a great and different dynamic that we all learn from, but I also um, hold their space as unique individuals too. So even though it's online, there's still access to speak to me as an individual um, through video call um, and we've been doing that and it's really worked well. So we work with Zoom together as a group um, and then you can also get the opportunity to do video calls. You don't have to. This is like some people need more support or, or, they, or they need emotional support or maybe need to ask questions. Um, and some people learn differently as well. So this is why the online thing 
his idea on the fact that we have the, the lives where you feel like you're really working together as a group. But because of the way the world is just now, we don't know what's happening. We don't know where we're going to be, what we're going to be doing. I want this cor these courses to be something that you can adapt your life to and um, still get what you need. So um, what I've decided to do is run these courses as intensive so you can progress and, and do it as an intensive, but you also have a year to complete it. So you can, all the lives will be recorded They'll be placed in your private Facebook group and this is where you can integrate with your fellow trainees and I can share any um, any recordings with you but I also because I understand that people learn differently and in different ways from each lecture I do you'll get a PDF you'll get um, some some you might even get a mini quiz as well which I will expect you to do the answers for. I expect you also, if you're on the 200 hours, um, I expect you to do uh, um, two online reviews of two online classes, one, or if you're allowed to go out and, and be with a teacher, a, a, a review of that. So I know that you're attending classes. I expect you to also have a daily practice and a daily meditation practice, but I will um, speak speak you through like how how to approach that. Um, so the teen classes and the kids classes, the first ones that's coming up, they're 40, 40 hours, and they can be done as four hour um, four day intensives. But you also have the opportunity to do them within a year. Okay. Um, I've got lots more information. You get syllabuses. You can ask me for a syllabus. I've put them on my old web website, louisayoga.co.uk, if you want more information. But I'm just trying to guide you through what I'm doing. So each different training will have a different Facebook group. But I'm also setting up online platforms for you to have access to a lot of the information too. We're going to flow with each, each group dynamic is different and I promise to take you to where you need to be if there's any queries if you feel there's something that you need or you're not getting you need to speak to me I'm not going to take it personally I'm going to step out my own way and feedback's always the best thing any sort of communication is good communication because I really want to give you as much as I can and I can't I'm never going to make assumptions so the teen stuff it's it's very different people assume that you Teens are mini adults, but the kids just do some, um, you know, like, I don't know. I don't know what they expect, but anyway, children are different, teens are different, adults are different. Um, with the children's, I teach you how to take, take them on magical adventures. I teach you about different age groups, how to teach, how to calm them down, contraindications, the anatomy of children's yoga. I teach you also to have fun, to be a kid's yoga teacher, you have to embrace your inner child and be that child, okay? And it can be, it's actually easier sometimes if, you, if you're just a yoga practitioner, becoming a children's yoga teacher first and then becoming an adult yoga teacher because you're, you're just coming, becoming your, your childlike self and really embracing that. So you really need a personal process to do that. But if you're coming from um, adult head, and it's not so precise to teach children. Sometimes you have to step out your own way and learn to have fun because you know that's what it's about. But it's really it's structured, and you'll you'll be able to teach children for the ages of two and a half to twelve up. The teens one, teens is a really interesting one. I really enjoyed um, studying for it. I had to learn as much as I could so I can give you more. And there's a lot of um, stuff to do with um, neuroscience and the brain and the teen brain um, and it you learn so much about yourself you kind of have to go back to your teen stuff and process and it's another life transforming thing just from four days but find your inner teen teaching teens is a, is a very different thing to teaching adults so i'm going to go through that with you as well so if the for the 200 hours, um, this one I've adapted through experience from with my guys that I'm teaching just now. They graduate um, 
in July. Um, so this new, the new one starts up and I've readapted re the course so that it can be, go online. It's 18 days. Um, you are getting the 200 hours, um, but it also includes a uh, 20 hours um, anatomy course as well, which is a separate thing, which I put you on to as well. Um, you can also choose to do this as an intensive and graduate on the, it starts on the 27th of July and you can graduate on the 15th of August if you pass. Um, because obviously, um, not just because you've paid and you've you've attended doesn't mean to say you're going to get a certificate. And that's a, something that that really sits with me. That I really, um, I think it's really important for you to know that just because you've attended stuff and you've paid doesn't mean to say you're going to pass. But you're going to have three chances to do it. And you know, it, it, there's you just. I think you just have to be authentically yourself, put in your practice, do your practice, and I give you the foundation. So the, to my, the way I teach, I teach in almost like, um, so I've studied, I did a, um, 2003, I did a teacher training with um, David Swenson in Ashtanga, but it was more my personal practice. And then 2006, I did my, 200 hours of Frog Lotus International and then I went on and did my 500 hours but since then I've worked with Sean Carr and, I've, um, and then I, I've more recently started working well not more recently I've gone way back in 2009 I think it was um, I found Rod Stryker so I've done quite a lot of his para yoga classes which is very much about the tantric hatha way so so we're going through the lineage of um, Krishna Macharya, and we're also I also work with tantric hatha yoga. So I've I've studied tantra, I've got a diploma in tantra, but I also do a lot of tantric yoga practices. So it's and tantra isn't strange sexual things that I'm not going to be doing, putting that on you. Don't worry. It's more about the, the it's it's stemming from the ancient lineages of you know, where where yoga really comes from. Um, and I also incorporate Ayurveda. So it's almost teaching you about the, how to become like yoga is um, self-awareness. Tantra is finding that mahat, that um, power that, that's within you, that you already have that individual self. And it's using methods like systematic methods, um, yogic methods like pranayama, breathing techniques, asana, um, mantra, uh, mudra, bandhas, um, all different meditations as well. And it's by, by systematically working with that and finding your power. And then with working with Ayurveda, um, it's about finding balance. So finding balance in your life and your practice and knowing how to teach. So we work with the biomechanics of asana, the energetics of asana. We put everything together. We make it like alchemy. It's like magic when you're little and you make a potion. Um, so I give you the foundations of how to teach and and how to transition, how to sequence, but really at the beginning, it's we're finding what yoga is, it really is, and what it is for you. I really, really have a strong passion for the philosophy of, and the history of yoga. So we're gonna, I think it's important to delve deep into that, find your yoga, and really know your yoga. You don't learn how to swim by um, reading a swimming manual. So we need to apply the practices. So it's the ancient practices and techniques and theories and philosophy, and we are learning how to apply it into modern day life. So you're not leaving your 200 hour course and then adapting to real life. We are adapting on the way. So I'm helping you find your way. So you're going to do a 20 minute sequence um, that I'm going to give you the different variations of what to choose and, and you get feedback from that. You do another 20 minute sequence on to just to get, this is to, and it's not assessments, this is for you to get experience, confidence and feedback from myself and from your fellow trainees and so to really get a feel of how, how the timings are as well. So the second 20 minutes is really to find your authenticity, um, where you are in, in your um, practice. Um, so it's very much um, 
so that your assessment when it comes to it you you've got, been used to it as well you're going to teach a, a yoga class um but yeah so it's it's fun it's about having fun but it's very intense it's a life transforming experience um you go through lots of processes but i try i, I i'm always there to hold your space and to answer questions because things do come up for you and just this, because it's online doesn't mean to say um, it's, a, it's a faceless thing. So when on the intensive, I'm going to be really a lot more hands-on. If you choose to do the year, I'm not going to be so hands-on with you because I'll, I'll be doing other stuff. I'll be running other trainings and being, being with the intensive. So I have an understanding of that, but I'm not checking out. I'm not leaving you to wing it, okay? Um, I'm always there you know, within reason, don't phone me every day, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's my 200 hours and that's my teen and my kids. The kids and teens, you don't need to be a yoga teacher to, to, do, to do this and to teach children and teens. You will be a specialist Yoga Alliance accredited teen yoga teacher and a specialist children's yoga teacher okay so they're all yoga alliance accredited um and the I, i'm going to be doing a 300 hour course but i've got standalone modules so that you do the 100 hours is compulsory and then um you choose your hours so that again because i was saying i do not want people to churn out to genetic yoga teachers so then they eventually find this who they are, their, their, their authentic teaching selves. It's the same with my 500 hours. If you want to become a 500 hours and really become more like specialized and go in depth, then instead of doing a genetic 300 hour course and then finding yourself, I want you to really delve deeper. The, the 100 hours will be more advanced practices and more going deeper into the philosophy. There's a module on Tantra um so it's really taking you further there's going to be a 15 hour uh, advanced anatomy with with david kale as well that's including the 100 hours it, it can be a standalone module if you're a yoga teacher you just want to go deeper that's fine so you're allowed to do that and then i do have other modules yin um pregnancy yoga and mental health yoga and ayurveda um, yogic mythology and monology and um, theming, seasonal yoga, themings and running workshop, workshops and retreats. So I, in my next video, I don't want to be throwing loads of stuff at you. I'm going to speak about the 300 hours. But I'll give you the dates of the children's um, teacher training begins on the 19th of June, if you want to do it as an intensive. And it's best if you're, even if you're not doing it as the intensive, to start on the day so you can really get involved and to join the Facebook group and everything. The teen yoga, the same, 25th of June. They're both cost 300 pounds each. You can see it's substantially dropped. They're normally 675 pounds, so. Um, but um, if you want to do them, do them both together, you get both of them for 550. So that's less than one of them in real life training. And um, the 200 hours, um, it starts on the 27th of July, as I said. And normally my 200 hours training is 3,000, no, is 2,000 pounds. But again, substantial drop in price um, because I don't have to pay for haul hire and print costs and stuff like that. Um, so it's down to, and also understand during this pandemic, we're all tight for money. It's a scary time, okay? So um, to, so this, the children's and the teens, you must pay 300 pounds up front before the course starts. Um, and for the 200 hours, it's 1,300 pounds. You pay 500 pounds deposit, um, it would be ideal if you paid up front, but I understand lots of people don't have that spare cash. If you want to pay in installments, speak to me. We need to arrange something properly because I have had um, people in the past that have arranged to pay me in installments and then haven't and have done most of the course and I haven't been paid. And it's not about money, but it's an energy exchange. And I don't want to ever ask for money because it's, awkward so figure out 
with me and um, a payment plan and we can easy do that as long as you've paid and you've done all your exams before the course ends it's all good so um if you've got any other questions i'm going to do another video for my three and hours but i think i've spoken enough um and if you want a syllabus or anything like that there, there is lots of information on louisayoga.co.uk um, I'm going to try and update my new web, my newer website that I've not been using. Um, but you can send me an email, send me a message. I've got lots of information, but hopefully that answers lots of questions. Okay. Bye.